Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to Olive Board. My name is Dinkar Purwar. I hope all of you are doing great. And uh, again, we have come with a new series that is on MCQs on ESI Current Affairs. Last week, we have already covered the month of April, where we have discussed about the uh, ESI MCQs and also ARD MCQs and that was lecture 9 and today we have come with the month of May 2021 MCQs that here we'll be discussing on some of the important uh, questions which has happened in the month of the May 2021 and this is going to be a lecture 10. So uh, let me see how many people are there. I can see many people are there. So please uh, guys uh, confirm me if you're there. I'll be starting the questions right now. Okay. So, so the first question for today is Recently in May 2021, Goldman Sachs has lowered Indian growth forecast for financial year 2022 to what percentage? So, hi Nilesh, how are you? I hope you are doing great. So, now uh, the options are 8.1%, 9.1%, 10.1%, 11.1%, .1 or 12.1%. Recently in May 2021, Goldman Sachs has lowered Indian growth forecast for financial year 2022 to what percentage? Nilesh is saying, hello, hello, Saurabh. Hi, Nitin. Okay, Nilesh is saying B, that is 11.1. .1. Nitin is saying 8.1. Saurabh is saying 9.1. Oh. Okay, Mili, hello, Mili, how are you? Okay, 11.1, .1, she is saying. Anybody else? Anybody else who wants to take participate? Okay, fine. Uh, we'll see the answer. The answer of this question is 11.1 person. So 11.1 percent is the answer. So Goldman Sachs has lowered its estimate for Indian economic growth to 11.1 percent in the financial year to March 31st, 2022. Overall, most indicators still suggest that the impact has been less severe than it was in quarter two, April, June last year. Okay. So while activity is likely to rebound back quite sharply from quarter three, that is July to September onwards, assuming restriction can ease somewhat around that time frame. So the net result is to lower our financial year 2020. Uh, 22 real GDP uh, growth forecast to 11.1 percent from earlier 11.7 percent previously, and our uh, and our 2021 calendar year growth forecast is 9.7 percent. Okay, so this is all our question uh, number one. Hello, uh, Amit, welcome to the session. Great guys, everybody is here now, so we can just continue with our session. So, question number two: Recently, in May 2021, which of the following IIT has signed MOU with? Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs for setting up of an accelerator center for R&D. Okay, that is IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Patna, IIT Madras, or IIT Kharagpur. Come on, come on, answer. Come on. Monday, uh, I have a ESI lecture, and on Tuesday, I have a ARD lecture. Okay. So Nilesh is saying the answer is B. That is. Uh, ID Kharagpur, Saurabh is saying ID Kharagpur, Mili is saying ID Kharagpur, Amit is saying IIT Kharagpur. So, so we will see the answer. The answer of this question is IIT Kharagpur. So IIT Kharagpur has uh, signed a MOU with Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs for setting up of Accelerator Center for R&D. Okay, IIT Kharagpur and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs have signed up a MOU to setting up of Accelerator Center for Research and Development at the Institute. Under this MOU will provide innovation, incubation, assistance to carry out the activities like technology and product development, the affordable sustainable housing accelerator in India, that is ASHA India initiative under global housing technology challenge, that is GSTC India is one of its kind of innovation. This collaboration is aimed to support potential future technology. So here it will help in uh, supporting the future technologies that are relevant for building up their environment de uh, developed in India through incubations and acceleration, which will identify the proven innovative emerging disaster resilient, environmental friendly, cost effective, speedy construction technologies for housing construction in India. So this was our question number two. Now question number three. Recently in May 2021, which of the following organization has launched SWAS and ARO scheme for COVID preparedness, whether it is RBI, SEBI, Niti Aayog, SIDBI or none of the above? What is the answer? Which of the following organization has launched SWAS and ROG scheme for COVID preparedness, RBI, SEB, Niti Aayog, SIDB or none of the above? So Nilesh is saying it is SIDB, Saurabh is saying SIDB, Nilesh, SIDB, Mili, uh, SID, uh, Niti Aayog, Nitin is saying SIDB, Amit is saying SIDB, okay. So we will see the answer of this question. 
uh, what is going to be the answer of this question? The answer of this question is said B. The answer of this question is said B. So, the Small Industrial Development Bank of India, that is said B, the principal financial institution engaged in the promotion, financing, and development of micro, small, and medium enterprises, has launched SOAS and ARO to help MSME, uh, MSME will require, which, which are required financial support. So, SOAS is a said B assistant to the healthcare sector. Uh, in the war as is, uh, against the sec second wave of COVID-19 and ARO is said to be assistant to the MSME. So, SOAS is the said be assistance for the healthcare sector and ARO is the assistant for the MSME sector for recovery and organic growth during the COVID-19 pandemic to new quick credit delivery schemes. These are the new quick credit delivery schemes. The schemes are divided under the guidance of the government of India while facilitating funding from the production and services related to supply of oxygen cylinders, oxygen concentrator, oximeters, and essential drugs. Now we are moving to the question number four. Recently in May 2021, which of the following organization has launched Dost for Life mobile app for students and parents, whether it is CBSC, UTC, AICT, IC, SC, or none of the above? So Nitin is saying the answer is CBSC. Which of the following organization has launched Dose for Life? It is a type of a mobile app for app for students and parents. So uh, Nitin is saying CBSC, Saurabh is saying CBSC, Nilesh is saying CBSC, okay. And Amit is saying CBSC. Anybody else wanted to say who, have any, who has left this question? They can also answer this question. No problem, we will see the answer of this question. The answer of this question is CBSC. The answer of this question is CBSC. So Central Board of Secondary Education has launched a new, new mobile app for students and parents. The new app, the name is Dost for Life, is an exclu uh, exclusive psychological counseling app for students and parents of the CBSC affiliated school. So it is a, like a psychological counseling app, especially for the students and parents who are related to the CBSC affiliated schools. The, the, the app has been designed for a student of the class 9 to 12 because at that time only from class 9 to 12 only people, uh, the uh, students face too much of psychological uh, issues and can be used for counseling session from May 10 onwards. The new app will simultaneously cater to the students and parents from CBSC affiliated school in different geographical uh, across the areas across the world. The board will conduct live counseling. So there will be a live counseling Okay, session free of cost thrice a week on Monday, Friday, and Wednesday by trained counselors and principals. Okay, now we are moving to the question number five. As per the government data, India fuel consumption has decreased by dash percentage in financial year 21. Whether it's 5.1%, 6.1%, 7.1%, 8.1%, 8 or 9.1%. Come on, guys, answer. As per the government data, India fuel consumption has decreased by what percentage? Nilesh has answered it is 6.1%, Mili 6.1%, Saurabh is also saying 6.1%. Okay, I'm waiting for other. Okay, Nitin is not sure. No problem, Nitin. Anybody else? Amit, can you answer this question? Where is our. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Amit is saying, okay, skip. He's giving the question, no problem. I'll just let you know what is the proper answer of this question. Okay, guys. Uh, so the answer of this question is 9.1%. The answer of this is 9.1%. 9.1%. As per the government data, Indian fuel consumption has decreased by 9.1% in the financial year 21 because of the COVID-19 pandemic, because of the lockdown and all these things. Okay. So Indian fuel demand has contracted by a massive 9.1% in the financial year that has ended March 31. The first in more than two decades as a stringent lockdown that is imposed to curb the spread of pandemic permit uh, the economic activity. This is the first time, this is the first time that the fuel consumption has contracted since 1998, 1999, the most historical year for which government data is available. So the, the demand contraction was led by the diesel and most consumed fuel because, because this demand contraction is mostly is due to the diesel because which is the most consumed fuel in our country diesel consumption fell by 12 percent to 72.72 million tons while petrol demand has shaken by 6.7 percent to 27.95 million tons okay so uh, 
Oh, six and nine looks same, sir. So we all give wrong answer. No problem, no problem. I think uh, you have to just simply rotate the uh, six, uh, so you will get the correct answer. Okay. So Nitin, oh, oh, no problem, Nitin, no problem. You, uh, it will help you tomorrow. No problem. Okay, it will help you tomorrow. <laughs> no problem. Fine. So question number six, please. Please do not consider this question number six as question number line by rotating that six. Okay, please. So this is question number six only. So recently, May 2021, India has launched the enhanced trade partnership with which of the following countries? USA, UK, Singapore, France, or Germany? So Mili has answered the question, UK. Okay, Nilesh, UK, very good. Saurabh, UK, okay. Okay, Amit is saying UK, fine, great. Anybody else? Nitin is also saying UK. Great, great, great. Anybody else who is left to answer this question, please, they can also answer the question. Padmini, okay. Uh, so, the course start for Nabbad. Uh, please contact the Olive Board. Uh, you, you will get the link below that you can contact with the email ID. They will let you know all the things, okay? They will let you know each and everything, okay? Padmini, yeah. So, the answer of this question is UK. The answer of this question is UK. So India and UK has launched the enhanced trade partnership. So for doubling and enhancing the bilateral trade by 2030, India and UK have agreed to launch a new enhanced trade partnership. So with the enhanced trade partnership in place, it will be easier to negotiate at India and India UK free trade agreement in the future. The decision was taken by the Pradhan Mantri, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, who has met his uh, British counterpart, that is Prime Minister Boris Johnson, during the summit level uh, talk that is held virtually. The other big takeaway from the first ever virtual summit between the two nations was the declaration of the inner state partnership. Brexit has pro provided a new opportunity for both the countries. The two-way trade in 2019 to 2020 was around $15.4 billion. Okay? Yeah, Badani. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay? Yeah, Vicky, welcome to the session. Welcome to the session. Uh, you have lost First six question, no problem. Go through that six question after the session gets over. Okay. So now question number seven. As per the data recently, May 2021, released by the Center for Monitoring of Indian Economy, that is CMIE, the second wave of COVID-19 and the resultant localized lockdown have impacted dash number of jobs in April 21. How many jobs has been affected as per the CMIE data? 55 lakhs, 65 lakhs, 75 lakhs, 85 lakhs, or 95 lakhs. So, Nilay is saying B, the option is 65. Okay, let's see, let's see. Anybody, okay, guys, come on, come on, answer the question. Uh, Mili is again 65. Okay, okay. Saurabh is saying 65 lakhs. Okay. Come on, guys, come on, come on, come on. Padmini is saying 65 lakhs. Okay. Saurabh Shekhar is saying 75. Vicky is saying 65. Saurabh has given the answer. He has written only lakhs. He is asking me to fill, sir. You can fill on your own. Okay. Okay. I will fill. Nitin is saying you don't know the answer. No problem. Amit is saying answer is 75 lakhs. So we will see the answer. No problem. I will see the answer. The answer of this question is 75 lakhs in April 2021. 75 lakhs jobs has been impacted all over the country as per the CMIE data. Okay. Good. Good, Saurabh. Okay. According to the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, CMIE, the second wave of COVID-19 and the resultant localized lockdown have impacted around 75 lakhs job in April, taking the unemployment rate to the four month high to 8%. It is a very high percentage. Okay. So the national unemployment rate touched around 7.97% as per the center proprietary data with urban area witnessing as higher status 9.78% while the rural joblessness is around 7.13%. The national uh, unemployment rate has just stood to 6.50% in March and the number of both rural and urban front were lower. So what is CMI? You should also know about the CMI. CMI or CL Center for Monitoring Indian Economy is a leading business information company. It was established in the year 1976 and it is a primarily independent think tank. Okay. So take out their all reports on their own. CMIE produce economic and business databases and develop a specialized analytical tools. So they develop proper analytical tool to give proper data related to unemployment and all these things and to deliver these to its customer for decision making and also for the research purposes. Okay, guys. Now question number eight. As per the World Bank report recently, 
May 2021 release, India received how much remittance in 2020? 71 billion, 74 billion dollar, 78 billion dollar, 83 billion dollar, 91 billion dollar. Come on, guys, come on. As per the World Bank report recently, May 2021 release, India has received how much remittance in 2020? 71 billion dollar, 74 billion dollar, 78 billion dollar, 83 billion dollar, or 91 billion dollar. Okay. Uh, Nilesh is saying the answer is D, that is 83. Okay, Mili is saying 83. Vicky is saying 83. Mili is not sure in this answer. Okay, no problem. Nitin is saying 83 billion dollars. Saurabh is saying 83. Amit is saying 83. Okay, great. So let's see the answer of this question, guys. The answer is 83 billion dollars. The answer is 83 billion dollars. Okay, so India has received a remittance of 83 billion dollars in remittance in 2020. So India is the largest recipient of the remittance in 2020 as per the report. What is the name of the report? Migrant and the Development Brief that is released by the World Bank. So key findings, what are the important key findings uh, uh, related to this report is India has been the largest recipient since 2008. However, the re remittance received by India in 2020 was over 83 billion where there is a drop of 0.2% which has been shared by the Nilesh. Very good, Nilesh. You have done, you have read the report properly. Very good. Globally, the remittance flows was around US dollar 540 billion in two, uh, 2020, which is 1.9% lower as compared to the 2019. The top five remittance recipient, the top five remittance recipient countries in 2020 were India, China, Mexico, Philippines, and Egypt. The top five recipient in 2020 as a share of GDP were contracted as a smaller economies are Tonga, Lebanon, Kyrgyz Republic, and Tajikistan and El Salvador. The largest, the largest remittance sending countries, those are the countries which are largest remittance sending countries were United States. People were giving too much, uh, people are sending money from United States to their own countries. Then it was followed by the UAE, then Saudi Arabia, then Switzerland, then Germany, and then we have a China. For India, from India, the remittance outflow was around US dollar 7 billions against US dollar 7.5 billions in 2019. So, question number 9. Recently, in May 2021, which of the following state has launched an online food reporting and information management system? Online flood management. Sorry. Recently, which of the following state has launched the online flood reporting and information management system, whether it is Assam, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal or Uttarakhand. Come on, guys. Okay, Nilesh is saying the answer. Okay, uh, guys, come on, come on, come on. Saurabh is saying answer is Assam. Nilesh is also saying answer is Assam. Vicky is saying answer is Assam. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Where's, where is other people, other people? Come on, guys, Amit. Mili, okay, Mili is saying Assam. Padmini, okay, Padmini has also said the answer as Sam. Okay. Anybody else who wanted to answer this question? Anybody else? Okay, okay, we will see the answer of this question. The answer of this question is Assam. Okay, so the Assam has launched the online flood reporting and information management system. So an online flood reporting and information management system was launched in Assam. The online system is developed jointly by the Assam state disaster management agency and the unicef which will replace the existing manual flood control mechanism so earlier they have a manual flood control mechanism now it will be online flood reporting and information management system the new system for online flood reporting on the daily basis will be operational from may 15 so the answer is sm now we are moving to the next question that is question number 10 recently in may 2021 which of the following became the first state in the country to join the global covex alliance Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, or Karnataka. Which of the following became the first state in the country to join the global COVAX alliance? Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, or Karnataka. So, Saurabh is saying, oh, that is Punjab. Nilesh is saying Punjab. Nilesh is saying, oh, Nilesh is saying Tamil Nadu. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the other guys also. Ahmed, Padmini, Nitin. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. Competition aspirant, no, no, dear, no, dear. ERD is for Tuesday. Okay. Monday is for ESI and ERD is for Tuesday. Okay. Vicky. 
you can you can watch earlier lecture also i have taken esi on monday and ard on tuesday okay so vicky is saying answer spanja mili uh, yeah yeah mili has also said that answer uh, nitin not sure okay no problem nitin amit is saying uh, tamil nadu padmini is saying second that is maharaj okay wait wait don't be don't get confused we'll just see the answer of this question the answer of this question is punjab so punjab has became the first state in the country to join the global covax alliance okay yeah yeah ard is tomorrow it is for sure tomorrow it is there tomorrow at 6 pm okay yeah so the punjab government has decided to join the global covax alliance for sourcing the immunization shots at the best prices so by doing so punjab has become the first state in the country to take initiative of addressing the vaccine shortage amid the deadly second wave of the pandemic so what is about this covax alliance covax is a co led by the coalition for epidemic preparedness innovation CETI Gavi and the World Health Organization alongside with a key delivery partner UNICEF okay it aims at accelerating the development and manufacturing of covid-19 vaccine and to guarantee fair and equitable access for every country in the world so punjab government has signed that uh, global covid alliance okay now question number 11 recently in may 2021 which of the following state has launched a new scheme that is mukhya mantri covid upchar yojana to fight covid-19 Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan, or Kerala. Very recently, which of the following state has launched a new scheme, Mukhya Mantri COVID Upchar Yojana to fight COVID-19? Come on, guys! Come on, come on, come on! Nilesh is saying MP. Okay, come on, come on, guys! Come on, come on, guys! Uh, Amit is saying MP. Saurabh is saying my. I think MP only. Padmini is saying MP. Okay, Vicky is saying MP. Nitin is saying MP. Saurabh is saying MP. Mili is also saying MP. Competition aspirant is also saying Madhya Pradesh, so I think I have to go by all of you. The answer is Madhya Pradesh. Very good, guys. Very good. Congratulations to everyone. Everybody has prepared well this time. Very good. Very good. I am just really happy by seeing your all answers. Very good. This is the way you prepare for the classes. Okay, so this will help you in your exams. Okay. The Madhya Pradesh government has announced the launch of Mukhya Mantri COVID Upchar Yojana amid the rise in the cases. in the state the scheme has been divided into three section the first section is hospital run by the state medical college district and the civil hospital and the community health center they will give the free treatment to the covid 19 patients in the second section 20% of the icu and sdu and isolation bed will be reserved in the hospital run by the private medical college to give free treatments and in the third section of the scheme 20% bed will be reserved for free treatment in hospital aggregated under ayushman scheme for economically weaker section of the society holding ayushman Card. So and all the revised rate for Ayushman card holder have also been announced under the Mukhya Mantri COVID Upchar Yojana. Okay, guys. Okay, fine. So we are going to the question number twelve. Recently, in May twenty twenty one, which of the following international organization has proposed a dollar fifty billion global vaccine plan? World Bank, IMF, UNGA, OECD, or WHO? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, Swarup is saying uh, the answer is two. That is IMF. Nilesh is saying the answer is uh, World Bank. Mili is saying IMF. Nitin is saying World Bank. Okay, so there is a confusion between World Bank and IMF. Okay, Vicky is saying IMF. Okay, come on, come on, guys. I'm just saying IMF. Okay, anybody else? Padmini is saying World Bank. Okay, so there is a little confusion between uh, the answers. Okay, so. Uh, we'll be seeing the answer come on guys we'll be seeing the answer answer of this question is imf imf is an international organization that has proposed a dollar 50 billion global vaccine plan so the answer is im imf okay so the international monetary fund has proposed dollar 50 billion global vaccine plan that would cover at least 40% of the global population by the end of 2021 and at least 60% by the first half of the 2022 okay so the answer is imf okay now question number 13 recently in may 2021 which of the following country has hosted global health summit 2021 france uk italy germany or poland which of the following country has hosted global health summit 2021 france uk italy germany or poland come on so amit is saying uh, answer is two that is uk oh no no sorry padmini is saying the answer is a that is france Uh, Nilesh is saying the answer is Italy. Mili is saying Italy. Sorry, Italy. Amit also saying Italy. Okay. 
Anybody else wanted to answer this question? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. I'm waiting for the answer. People, be participative. Brinder, hello, hello, Brinder. How are you? How are you? Welcome to the session. You are a little late, sir. Uh, oh, you are from Rajasthan. No problem. Actually, I thought you have given the answer as Rajasthan, but I, I, I thought I have not asked any question related to Rajasthan till now. So I think you, uh, you belong to Rajasthan, right? Okay, fine, great. Anybody else wanted to answer this question? Okay, come on. So the answer of this question is Italy. The answer of this question is Italy. So Italy is the country that has hosted the Global Health Summit of 2021. Okay, no problem. No problem, Vicky. Okay. The, the virtual Global Health Summit has been held in Rome in Italy. So what is about this Global Health Summit 2021? Global Health Summit was organized by Italy in its role as president of the G20 in partnership with the European Commission. The main purpose of this is to seek to empower and enable stakeholders to address the challenge in the third sustainable development goal. So they are looking for uh, giving bring some challenges related to third sustainable development goals of health and well-being for all so the summit the summit adopted the agenda to overcome the covid-19 pandemic it also decided to develop and endorse the rome declaration of the principles so what is this in the rome declaration the rome declaration was adopted it was adopted in the global health summit of 2021 so you should know that there is a rome declaration that has been adopted in global health summit 2021 which has happened in rome italy okay so what are the principles that uh, the declaration is made up to up, up of 16 mutually agreed principles. These principles aimed at guiding joint action to prevent future health crisis and to build a safer, fairer and more equitable and sustainable world. This is all about our Global Health Summit that has happened in the Italy. OK, and there is a room declaration that has been signed over there. Now, now we are moving to the next question. That is question number 14. As per announcement that has been made by made at the joint press conference by uh, IBA and SBI in May 2021, public sector bank will provide the unsecured loan of up to rupees how many lakhs? Rupees one lakh, two point five lakh, five lakh, seven point five lakhs, or ten lakhs. As per the announcement that has been made at the joint press conference by Indian Bank Association and SBI State Bank of India in May 2021. Public sector bank will provide unsecured loan of up to how many lakhs? So, Mili is saying the answer is 5 lakhs. Saurav is saying 5 lakhs. Virendra is saying 5 lakhs. Milesh is saying 5 lakhs. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, I thought uh, some most of the people have prepared for ARD today over. That is why people are not answering. Okay. Vicky has answered also 5 lakhs. Okay, Amit. No problem. No problem. Don't, uh, don't worry. We'll just see the answer now. Okay. Don't worry about this. Okay. Uh, hello, Tushar. Hello. Welcome to the session. Okay, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathan is saying, yes, yes sir. You are prepared for ARD and today the session is of ESI. Yes. <laughs> no problem, guys. No problem. It's okay. Okay. The main focus should be on learning the question and know the MCQs properly. Okay. No problem. So the answer of this question is 5 lakhs. 5 lakhs. Okay. So as per the announcement made at a joint press conference of the Indian Bank Association and the State Bank of India, the public sector bank will provide the unsecured loan of up to rupees 5 lakhs to individuals to meet their and family members' COVID-19 treatment costs. This comes in a wake of ongoing second wave of the pandemic that has swept across the country unleashing the untold mysteries of the families across the income group so they are providing up to rupees 5 lakh of loans who whose individual have met uh, the family members uh, for the proper covid 19 treatment costs the form uh, part of the three new loans product announced by them to provide fresh loan uh, fresh lending support to the vaccine manufacturer hospital dispensaries pathology labs and manufacturer and supplies of the oxygen concentrator okay import of the vaccine and the covid related drugs logistic firms and individuals suffering from the covid 19 as per these announcement individual including salaried people non salaried people pensioner people they can avail the unsecured loan that is they don't have to provide any uh, collateral for uh, these loans so uh, unsecured personal loan from rupees 25000 to rupees 5 lakh to meet the covid 19 treatment the repayment tenure is of around 5 years so sbi will charge the interest rate of 8.5% per annum other bank are free to decide their interest rate for this okay now question number 15 recently in may 2021 which of the following has formulated a policy paper titled circular economy in electronics and electrical sector that deals with e-waste issues. 
नीति आयोग मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज बोथ वन एंड टू और ऑल ऑफ द अब कम ऑन गाइज कम ऑन रिसेंटली which of the following has formulated a policy paper titled circular economy in electronics and electrical sector that deals with e-waste come on guys come on uh, nilesh is saying the d option that is both one and two swarup is saying four that is both one and two okay uh, come on guys okay mili is saying the answer is nitin is saying both one and two mili is saying the answer is five that is all of the above amit is saying four both one and two vicky uh, is saying answer is d that is both one and two okay fine uh now you'll see the answer of this question actually here uh the see the answer the answer is ministry of electronics and information broadcast the answer is two okay here this policy the paper has been formulated by ministry of electronics and information technology i will i will see i know there is a little confusion in your answers so i will let you know how this is there okay the answer is ministry of electronics and information broadcasting see the paper was entrusted to my t by niti ayog niti ayog has said to ministry of electronics and information technology to make that paper okay so here ministry of electronics and information technology has got the approval from the niti ayog so this has formulated the paper ministry of electronics and information and broadcasting it focuses on the life cycle of the electronics including state of raw materials okay guys did you got the answer how it is has been decided right the paper is formulated by ministry of electronics and information broadcast okay the answer is ministry of electronics and information technology so it focuses on the life cycle of electronics including stages of raw material design manufacture production okay consumption of the end of the life of the e waste management and secondary raw material the policy paper also noted the ce approach that will be imperative to fulfill the resource need of the country the focus area include 11 end of the life product recyclable material waste that either continue to pose considerable challenge and are emerging as a new challenges the paper covered the the entire life cycle of the product that is used in triple e manufacturing electronics and electrical manufacturing and also making shorts medium and long term suggestion for the of the c okay this is the proper answer you got the answer right now we are uh, so for example see here the examples are there the raw material in procurement it recommends a mandatory use of certain percentage of critical material source from secondary materials uh, medium to long terms promotion of technology for extraction from where you can properly extract how you can use the materials in the consumption stages the policy recommend the uh, include the resource efficiency circular uh, circular economic labeling eco labeling on the products in the percentage use of the recyclable material so how much percentage uh, that has been used as a recycle Uh, material okay in the product to create consumer awareness and recycling aspect of the products it further recommends the regulation to increase triple e warranty from 2 to 6 year measure against plant obsolescence legal warranty of the second hand products and promotion of the green public procurement by the government agencies okay so this is all like uh, things so sir okay so what niti ayog has given the task for making that report to ministry of electronics and information technology okay now question number 16 question number 16 is as per the ranking recently of 2021 by ministry of housing and urban affairs which of the following state has stopped implementation of the smart city project jharkhand rajasthan odisha west bengal or himachal pradesh which of the Uh, as per the ranking recently re uh, released by ministry of housing and urban development which of the following state has stopped the implementation of the smart city project jharkhand rajasthan odisha west bengal or himachal pradesh so people have started uh, saying the answer is a that is jharkhand okay milish singh jharkhand saurav singh jharkhand nilten singh jharkhand okay vicky is saying jharkhand amit is saying jharkhand okay, okay. we will see the answer the answer of this question is jharkhand the answer of this question is jharkhand so jharkhand has placed the first position among the 36 states and union territories of india based on the progress of the implementation of the smart city project rajasthan has came second the ranking were released by the ministry of housing and urban affairs okay okay amit okay okay good 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 okay saurav you are also from jharkhand it's an okay you are also from jharkhand okay many people are from here from jharkhand okay great great So the ranking were released by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. At the same time, Jharkhand Capital Ranchi has risen to uh, the twelfth position in terms of progress of the ongoing mission plan in hundred cities. 
okay so on the other hand delhi has at the is at the number number 11 in the list of the state and union territories and bihar is at the number 27 and the new delhi municipal corporation is at the number 41 and bihar capital patna is at the 60th position in the list of cities okay guys now question number 70 recently which of the following state has launched hit covid app to ensure regular monitoring tracking of the home isolated patient arunachal pradesh sikkim bihar west bengal or uttar pradesh which of the following state has launched hit covid app hit covid app has been launched by which state to ensure regular monitoring tracking of the home isolated patient arunachal pradesh sikkim bihar west bengal or uttar pradesh come on guys come on okay bihar uh, sourav singh bihar nilesh is saying bihar amit singh bihar nitesh singh bihar milij of singh bihar okay waiting for some more people come on guys kishan is saying bihar okay 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 uh anybody else wanted to answer this question i am waiting for your answer guys come on anybody else wanted to answer anybody else anybody else wanted to answer saurabh uh, home isolation tracking okay shubham is saying the answer is bihar okay very good so we'll see the answer the answer of this question is bihar bihar has launched the uh, app that is called uh, hit covid app here they will help in the ensure regular monitoring tracking and home isolation for the home isolated patients so bihar government has launched a hit covid of those covid 19 patient who are in home isolation across the state hit stand for home isolation track h i t h i t health worker will visit the patient at home every day and feed data in the app after measuring their temperature and oxygen level so here health worker will be visiting that places okay yeah yes or yes this hit h i t home isolation tracking yes so here the health worker will be visiting to the patient place and they every day and they will be taking the temperature of the patient and the oxygen level and they will be feeding into a data this data will be monitored at the district level okay guys come right question number 18 recently in may 2021 which of the following has launched yuva prime minister scheme for mentoring young authors ministry of education niti aayog ministry of youth affairs both one and two all of the above come on nilesh is saying the answer is a that is ministry of education come on guys come on come on sourav is saying the ministry of education okay 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 waiting for okay ministry of education mili is saying amit is saying ministry of education okay uh, nitin is saying ministry of education come on guys come on many people are there please guys be participative come on come on i am waiting for your answer i am waiting for your answer guys come on saurav 75 author will be provided you know 50000 okay okay saurav is given the additional import we'll see okay no problem guys anybody else wanted to answer this question which of the following has won yuva prime minister scheme for monitoring young authors well, yes completion also going on my government platform yes 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 it is going on yes so the answer is ministry of education so the ministry of education uh, department of higher education has launched yuva that is prime minister scheme for mentoring young author and an author mentorship program to train youth young and budding author that is that are the below of the age of 30 years in order to promote reading writing a uh, book culture in the country and project india as an inter indian writing global globally so we wanted to promote our uh, youth authors here and it will help to encourage our young writers to write about indian freedom struggle focus first of all we will be focusing on indian freedom struggle okay so what are the important key feature are yuva is a part of a india at 75 project that is azadi ke amrit mahotsav to bring to the fore to the perspective of the young generation of the writers on the theme of unsung heroes you can write about unsung heroes of the freedom fighter some of the important freedom fighter which you think uh, has to be named here unknown forgotten places about that also you can write and their role in the national movement and other related themes in the innovative and various creative manners the scheme will thus help to develop the stream of writer who can write on a spectrum of the subjects and it will also help in promotion of the indian heritage culture and knowledge system so the implementation agency is the national book trust nbt that is under ministry of education okay so you guys you can visit to national book trust online website there you can order various books because these books are available at a very low cost and these are high quality books that has been written over there you can visit today national book trust uh, uh, their online platform okay 
So the book prepared under this scheme will be published under the National Book Trust. So whichever the book that will be prepared under this scheme that will be uh, that will be published under National Book Trust of India and will also be translated into other Indian languages, ensuring the culture exchange of culture literature, thereby promoting Ek Bharat Shresth Bharat. A total of seventy five authors will be selected through All India contest, and the winner will be announced in the fifteenth August twenty twenty one. the young author will be trained by eminent authors and the mentors under the mentorship the manuscript will be read by 15th december 2021 for publication the published book will be launched on 12th january 2022 on the occasion of national youth day that is yuva divas okay a consolidated scholarship of rupees 50000 per month for a period of 6 month per author will be paid under the mentorship scheme so there is a also a scholarship that is of 50000 per month and it will be paid for 6 months okay so here saurav has uh, already given the proper information like okay? 75 author will be provided the sense of 50000 rupees per month for a period of 6 month very good saurav good and mili really good uh, very good now question number 19 Recently, in May 2021, which of the following has become the first state in India to allow reimbursement of the GST on COVID item donations? Punjab, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, or Odisha? Which of the following is, is state has become the first state in India to allow reimbursement of GST on COVID item donations? Punjab, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, or Odisha? So, uh, Mili Singh, Haryana, Delhi is saying Haryana. Okay, Saurav is saying Haryana. Nitin is saying Haryana. Amit is saying Haryana. Where are the other people? Guys, yeah, Vicky. Vicky has said the answer is B. That is Haryana. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. I am waiting. Many people are there. Please answer the question. Answer the question. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. I am waiting for your answers. Come on, guys. Okay, we'll see the answer. The answer of this question is Haryana. So Haryana is the first state in India that will allow the reimbursement of the GST on COVID nineteen. uh related uh, items donation those who have done donation on the covid 19 items so they will get gst reimbursement back into their account the haryana government is became the first state in india to allow reimbursement of the goods and services that and tax paid by the companies non government organization and individual on the purchase of 15 covid items so this will be applicable till june uh, june 30 the move is aimed to encourage the effort by corporation non uh, governmental organization and individual and facilitating donation of items such as oxygen concentrators covid 19 vaccines remdesivir injections so in all these things if you have paid the gst so they you will get a reimbursement back into your account okay haryana will reimburse gst already paid in such covid 19 related items subject to some conditions are there the 15 items uh, that will be eligible for reimbursement it will be including around oxygen concentrator oxygen filling system oxygen storage tank oxygen generator vaccine remdesivir ventilator and some more items are there uh, okay okay nilesh you will see for this ard scheme uh, will be see okay will be seeing all this okay no problem so now question uh, so question number 20 that is the last question for today ministry of tribal affair has recently signed mou with which of the following tech giants on the joint initiative for digital transformation of tribal school amazon google flipkart ibm or microsoft uh, nilesh uh, please uh, write your this comment in the uh, comment section when uh, the lecture gets over okay Okay, Nilesh. Write this comment in the comment section so that uh, we can just uh, send it to the olive board so they can just arrange the things for the things. Okay, guys. Please. So, Saurav is saying it is Microsoft. Okay. Uh, Nilesh is saying it is Microsoft. Uh, Anubha Das is saying it is Microsoft. Mili is saying Microsoft. Vicky is saying Microsoft. Ramit is saying Microsoft. Mili is okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Please uh, write this comment after this uh, lecture gets over, and do not write in the comment uh, box. Okay. Uh, when the lecture gets over, after that you write in the comment section. Okay. We will just reply to that. Okay. So, Arab. Uh, okay. So here, the answer of this question is Microsoft. The Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Microsoft uh, and Microsoft has signed a memorandum of understanding on the joint initiative of digital. Uh, transformation of the tribal school this includes the introduction of ash ashram school and eclub model residential school in tribal schools microsoft will be making artificially intelligent curriculum uh, curriculum sorry curriculum available for the tribal students in hindi and english in the first phase of the program 250 emrs 
are to be established out of this 250 50 schools will be given intensive training and 500 master trainer will be trained in the first phase regarding this okay come on okay fine. so today uh, these are the 20 questions so as you all know that we are running this nabard grade a courses so you can just visit our olive wood youtube channel and you can also visit olive wood uh, website and there you can find please share this lecture with your friends if you haven't shared please share so that they can also get the benefit of this thing and uh, guys please leave the comment after the lecture gets over thank you everyone please leave the comment after this uh, lecture gets over so that uh, uh, we'll just have a talk with the olive wood people and they will just uh, reply you back with the proper answers okay guys don't worry uh, we'll help you in all the uh, way uh, in the which we can uh, thank you so much thank you so much everyone thank you so much and uh, at the last i will ask to never like to uh, never forget to like subscribe and follow happy learning thank you so much thank you guys